And I heard a scream from the front of the bus. I looked and instantly a semi-truck was coming our way and everything was black. Five years ago, Canada stopped, shocked by what happened on a northern Saskatchewan highway. We have definitely had those moments where, you know, I let, I let grief kind of take over my day and, and ruin it for myself and I guess the people around me. Ryan Strachnitsky, one of 13 humble Broncos injured. 16 died, like trainer Dana Bronze. Every one of these gifts has a story. In a gallery surrounded by tokens of support from around the world, her mother, Carol Bronze, like the others, says it doesn't feel like five years. It just feels like a hole still in our, in our lives. Sometimes the sea is calm, and the next night, day the, there's a storm and you get hit by the wave. I went to seven funerals in eight days, and that's not supposed to happen. Those who spoke to Global News say they still haven't made sense of what happened, of the lives forever changed and lost. They move forward because they have to, trying to honor the memories of their teammates and loved ones. Toby and Bernadine Boulay lost their son Logan in the crash. They now champion Green Shirt Day to promote organ donation, inspired by their son's decision. After we walked Logan to uh, the operating room, we left the hospital. And as we were walking down this hallway, um, there was a man coming with a cart with coolers. And the, you knew that the coolers, where they were going and what they were being used for. They all say they'll mark the anniversary and the days after when others died quietly. They hope Canada does the same that we remember our loved ones and those who need help moving ahead because what else can you do? We can't control a lot of the things that happen to us. We can only control what happens after. Nathaniel Dove, Global News.